So we're here on the main campus of the University of Connecticut in stores, and behind me we have the most recent low impact development practice that's been installed here to manage stormwater on campus. So this is a large bioretention basin. There are actually three of them around this new building. And the purpose of it is to take runoff from this large building that's behind me here and bring it into the basin, allow it to infiltrate into the ground and remove some of the pollutants that are passing through there. So we're taking stormwater offline of water that otherwise would have gone into the stormwater system and down into the nearest brook. So this particular one you can see is, is fairly deep. This is not typical. Usually they're a little bit more shallow than this, but they can be built this deep. And the, the plants that are installed in here are plants that will do well in this area without needing maintenance once they're established. So we try to put species in that are native to the area or at least well adapted non-natives. So behind me here you can see where water enters this bioretention basin. We have a pipe that will spill in on a splash pad. There are actually several of these throughout this basin. So this water is actually coming from the roof of this building where it collects the rainwater that will fall on top of the building. With traditional construction that water is piped either to the stormwater system or to the combined sewer system in most older cities, creating problems downstream. So this method actually helps to disconnect this building from the stormwater system, from the sewer system, so that we can allow that water to sink in very close to where it's generated, just as it did before this building was here.